What's up, what's up, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl, everything Alex, and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. So, if you are new to this channel, uh, what it is? Hey, uh, what's up, what's up? Got your nigga in the club, got damn what it is. What's up, what's poppin'? I'm happy to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey boy, hey girl, I missed you. Okay, so as you guys can see already by today's title, I'm going to be, what am I going to be? Let me see, hold on. Hold on, I, I don't know yet. Okay, so as you guys can see by today's title, I'm just going to be, um, you know, giving y'all the down and dirty on what they don't tell you about college, okay? Because yeah, I mean, I get it. Further your education, go be somebody, go do something with your life, but mm, college ain't for everybody, okay? College is not for everybody. Some people need to go to college, some people need to join the workforce, but that's neither here nor there. So today's um, video is going to just be about me telling you guys like what they don't tell you about college like okay tuition's high we already know that but what else okay so before we do get into this video please make sure you do like comment and subscribe you know all of that hey all of that hey hey all of that hey all of that and make sure you do keep supporting the culture all 2020 gang 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 hit it for me can't stop hey won't stop hey dun 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 hey hit it dun hey hit it dun hit it one more time dun 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 yes make sure you do like comment and subscribe make sure you do keep supporting the culture all 2020 so without further ado we're just gonna cut shenanigans we're gonna get right into the video so I wrote down a couple of notes because there, there was no way on God's great earth I was going to remember this. And like, even like, so as I'm saying it, if I feel like I think of something new because it's college is like four years of your life or depending on whatever you studying. It's four years minimum. And it just be a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. So, um, yeah. So just to, just for starters, like I said, I'm a firm believer of college is not for everybody. No, that does not mean stay at your mama crib and be a bomb. That's not what that means. But I'm just saying, like, um, a lot of people get anxiety when it comes to tests or just, like, anything school-related. So, I mean, college is just not for everybody. Go do something else with your life. Go be a farmer, technician, plumber. I don't know. Sound cloud rapper, be something, you know, as long as you're being something, it's okay. But college is not for everybody. So don't go to college wasting nobody money and don't allow someone else to force you to go to college to waste their money. You feel me? Okay, so um got my list sticking on. Okay, so number one, what they don't tell you about college is all colleges are not the same. Okay. I know in um in high school and just like school period, they feel they feed you this thing. Oh, well, when you go to college, you're going to be having to do a 100-page paper, and it's going to be due the next morning. Like, that is not true. Like, all colleges are not the same, and when I'm saying that, I'm saying, like, the workload for all colleges is not the same because um, you can go to one place and you be expected to write, um, you know, to, to write an America's bestseller, but the college I went to, I it was kind of like I had high school work just being honest like i didn't have to do no like yeah every now and again i probably had to do like this grandiose paper but like moral like moral of the story overall i did not always have to do like this huge amount of workload to the point where i was just exasperated and couldn't do nothing else with my life so do not allow them to feed that mess to you i feel like the the workload do depend on like what you studying and like also the the size of your campus so yeah, don't allow people to tell you that all colleges are the same because they are not all the same. Do not go into college already pre-stressed out because you feel like, oh my gosh, how am I do all this work? When baby, it might not even be no work for you to do. Just being honest. Number two, and this is a big one because this one definitely hits home with me, is that the food is only good when y'all have visitors, okay? Like, bro, food is... In, it's only good when when the high schoolers are coming or somebody's coming to visit the campus and they just trying to make a, a good first impression because that's what they, that's what they do to you. So when you're when you're in high school, you're going to visit the school. They make sure they they make sure they they prepare their best meal. They make sure they prepare Sunday's best for you because they know like 
that's going to be one of the reasons that you come. Oh, I got good food? Okay, wonderful. I'm there. So, the only time the food is good when you're going to college is when the high schoolers come or if somebody's important visiting the campus. Other than that, be prepared to be disgusted and eating cereal every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Save a cereal in your room every single day and just you know lacking all the nutrients that you need for your body because the food is trash okay i wish somebody would have told me that prior but no one did and i had to find that out the hard way number three what they don't tell you is that buying books is a tactic of the devil okay the devil want to see you down the devil want to see you broke the devil want to see you stressed the devil want to see you wasting money that you don't need to be wasting that you could use on something else the devil just really want to see you down bad and you know just using your bottoms dollar to, to purchase a book and do not let the devil use you do not let the devil get the best of you you feel me because i can like honestly out of the whole four years that i was there it was probably only hmm, only two classes that i actually use the book every single time i got in that class like they made sure we use that book and out of all the classes i took why is it only two of them doing that you feel me so child don't let these don't let the devil use you don't let these professors be the reason why you broke when they lie you go what you do before you trying to oh yeah i'm a i'm a good student i follow the rules i'm gonna do what you say professor before you do all that Go to that class first and you figure out, you, you peep game how that class operating and you'll know whether or not you need that book. But don't just, oh, it was on the syllabus. The, syl the syllabus said that I need to, like, don't. Don't do that. Do not. Do not. Don't listen to that syllabus. Don't listen to the devil. Don't listen to the professor. Sometimes all you need is, you know, instincts. That's all you need. And if you're a woman, all you need is a woman's intuition. So, <laughs> do not listen to them when they telling you, oh yeah, you don't need this book, and then you'll never open it, and now you're mad. Be mad at yourself, because I already warned you, okay? I already warned you. Number four is beware of club promoters, especially if you're in like a, a, like a, a really lit city. Um, I went to school in Miami, so, it was club promoters on every piece of the campus, okay? And then especially on Thursdays because they knew we did not have class on Friday. So they were just everywhere, just scouting out their, their, their next victim, okay? So beware of club promoters and learn how to tell people no because you're going to need to be able to tell them no, all right? Because they be, they be real antsy, okay? Number five, is this number five? Yeah, number five become best friends with your financial aid advisor okay he or she will save you so much money in the long run like dog my shout out to my financial aid advisor miss kaloof shout out to her because baby she got me every scholarship up under the sun she saved me so much money anything that i could um like do to get me more money she did it like she was not playing and i don't care how many times i went to go see her how many times i emailed her yes i'm going to email you if it's about my money i'm going to email you because um in my case i was the one paying for my college it wasn't no mama and daddy paying for my college it was me so i had to make sure you know i was getting the best deal okay save money live better walmart like don't play with me so yeah become best friends with your financial aid advisor because in the long run when you saving thousands of dollars from you you know your college tuition you'll be happy okay you will be very much happy so become best friends with your financial aid advisor if you don't be friends with nobody else be friends with your financial aid advisor last but not least number six make sure you set a a timer for when your clothes are in the like washer or dryer because people will come and they do not be caring they will come and they will take your stuff out if your stuff is done they're not finna sit up there and wait on you because they don't got all day they don't got time you know so and then the like the facility could be dirty like you feel me so you don't want somebody just putting your clothes on top of like a bench 
you just washed them that defeats the purpose now you need to wash them again so just make sure you're setting timers for like okay well my clothes gonna be done in 27 minutes let me set my timer for 26 okay 26 so as soon as your clothes beep you could be there to take them out okay so set your timer because people are real trifling and they will take your stuff out because they is not finna wait on you okay they got stuff to do just as well as you so just make sure you set a timer for the washers and dryers or your stuff will be on the floor your panties will, will be all everywhere for on display okay and don't nobody want to see that okay um so yeah these are basically all of the tips that will basically help you get through college and this is like all the things that no one told me before going into college so i hope this helped you and i hope this was kind of like a light shed to some of you guys and if you have been to college um y'all leave below like especially if you've been to college y'all leave below things that you wish you would have known if somebody would have just told you okay somebody would have just told you okay be friends with your financial aid advisor you gonna need her more than anything like you know just comment that down below um let me know what you guys think of this video make sure you do like comment and subscribe you already know make sure you do keep supporting the coach all 2020 gang 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 can't stop won't stop boy this channel gonna blow up, so buckle your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Bye.